Good morning. It's Friday, April 29th, 2022. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for your journey today. Our devotion today is entitled, Glory and Honor and Power, in our scriptures, Revelation chapter 4. Then, as I looked, I saw a door standing open in heaven, and the same voice I had heard before spoke to me like a trumpet blast. The voice said, Come up here, and I will show you what must happen after this. And instantly I was in the Spirit, and I saw a throne in heaven, and someone sitting on it. The one sitting on the throne was as brilliant as gemstones, like jasper and carnelian, and the glow of an emerald circled his throne like a rainbow. Twenty-four thrones surrounded him, and twenty-four elders sat on them. They were all clothed in white and had gold crowns on their heads. And from the throne came flashes of lightning and the rumble of thunder. And in the front of the throne were seven torches with burning flames. This is the sevenfold Spirit of God. In front of the throne was a shiny sea of glass, sparkling like crystal. In the center and around the throne were four living beings, each covered with eyes, front and back. The first of these living beings was like a lion, the second was like an ox, the third had a human face, and the fourth was like an eagle in flight. Each of these living beings had six wings, and their wings were covered all over with eyes, inside and out. Day after day and night after night, they keep on saying, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God, the Almighty, the one who always was, who is, and who is still to come. Whenever the living beings give glory and honor and thanks to the one sitting on the throne, the one who lives forever and ever, the twenty-four elders fall down and worship the one sitting on the throne the one who lives forever and ever. And they lay their crowns before the throne and say, You are worthy, O Lord our God, to receive glory and honor and power. For you created all things, and they exist because you created what you pleased. Most of the scenes in heaven stop me dead in my tracks. This scene is one which captures my attention for weeks at a time. I want to shout, weep, celebrate, and mourn all at the same time. I mourn for my human inability to adequately do what the elders in the throne room accomplished, ascribe all possible glory, honor, and power to the King of Kings. I shout because I'm an introverted, quieter person by nature, But the images of heaven's splendor and righteous power in my brain will not let me be silent. I want to weep, because in the presence of the source of all power and righteousness, it's impossible to not sense my unworthiness, stripped naked of any pretense of personal holiness in the presence of he who is the Almighty I Am. And despite emptying all my false claims to belong to God, I want to celebrate with complete abandoning of dread or uncertainty because the blood of Jesus Christ shouts from that throne that I do indeed belong to Him. What a scene! Every time I consider it, like Peter, James, and John at that moment of transfiguration on the mountaintop, I want to stay right there. I want to build a memorial and never leave. But the longer I reflect on that glory, and more accurately, the more that glory reflects his light and power to overshadow me and what God has created and his grace that unfolds every bit of it for me, the more I realize the purpose for all of that splendor. I am his blood, his bones, sinew, and awareness, And like the 24 elders bowing before the throne, I'm commissioned to reflect that power, laying all honor and glory, humanly possible, back to the throne. For you today, if you're hunting for some purpose in a life that's turned boredom into an hours-long Facebook or Instagram distraction, put down your tablet, leave your smartphone in the drawer, Walk past the desk and computer and head for the prayer garden. 
do a little weeping, celebrating, mourning, and shouting in the presence of the king. You just might bump into purpose for your life. That happens a lot when you hang with the author of all honor, glory, and power. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road with Jesus. Have a blessed day.